All right, hey guys, what's up? Pyrotechnic plays here. Now, I think I'm just gonna start the name Pyrotechnic. Why? I'm not Pyrotechnic plays. I'm Pyrotechnic. Anyway, this is really interesting, and it has one of my girlfriend's uh, favorite artists on here, H.P. Lovecraft. Now, I'm I'm familiar with Unreal Engine 4, but the fact that I'm looking at it right now and it's a pixel Unreal Engine 4 game, I'm very intrigued. Very, very, very intrigued. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit because the shit is loud. And all right, let's get it. Cold Lake. The oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear. And the oldest and strongest kind of fear is a fear of the unknown. H.P. Lovecraft. Welcome to Cold Lake, a small town with a dark history. Many people from here have either gone missing or were found dead. Your name is Catherine. And you seem to be the only one brave enough to solve the mystery of what darkness resides here. Hurry before it's too late. Your life may depend upon it. A man shouts outside the window. Stranger, there was another. Stranger, there's another. Mrs. Dyer, stranger, there's another. Wow, Unreal Engine, huh? You do not say, Jim. Unreal Engine, what? Wow. What is this mask? It looks like something out of a nightmare. I'm oddly drawn to it. Wow. Copper lock, okay. So it was a sprite kit. Very impressive. Oh, oh, oh. I can jump. I have the best jumping animation. I'm not judging. I'm, I'm a pixel game made with Unreal Engine is... I'm impressed. That looks like something I can get up on. But no. It really looks like something I can get up on. Alright. Hello, miss. I hope you're doing well. Be careful. A killer lurks among us. Alright, cool. I cannot enter this door. What? Oh, come on, that is quite obviously meant for me to go up. Maybe I'm just not meant to do it yet. Picked up an old scroll. I have heard strange noises coming from that lake recently. I'm not one for old wives. Tales. But that place gives me an eerie feeling. Which tale, you say? Ah, well, the story of... Cthulhu, of course. Some call him the Eternal Hunger, the Great Sleeper, and many more hideous names. I don't know why I'm doing the accent. Some say he is the reason Cold Lake is so cold. Either way, the place has always given me that feeling of a center was a lad. I still can't shake it. His name's Gerald. Like, what am I doing? I do love his jumping animation. This is just how I roll, son. This shit right here is how I roll. What are you doing? The, the bones. They, they keep washing for sure. That lake is evil. I'll be the judge of that. I'm going straight for that shit. There's a thing over there. What is that? What? There's more keys than I know. I don't know. Sprite's very good. A faint shrieking rings out through the night air, almost in harmony with the howling wind. There's something wrong with the ground right there. Frankly, not enough to deliver me. I got knuckles in front of him. Okay. Was that a dream? Was he the one who attacked me? All right, let's go. Careful, miss. You took a hard blow to the head. Do you remember anything? I found you down by the lake. You're very lucky to be alive. You need to be more careful. There's a killer out there, and it could be anyone. Excuse me while I just go right back to that motherfucking lake, boy. Uh, what does Pingalumalaf Cthulhu mean? I couldn't remember the rest. Heard it in a dream. Oh, wait, wait, what? 
It means in his house at Rile, dead Cthulhu awaits dreaming. How do I know that? I grew up on those tales. Hmm. Ooh. Uh. Alright, it needs a little bit of polish, but. Oh my god! Alright, you need to be careful, Catherine. These murders aren't just random. I've been hearing many rumors ah! about a cult in town. The police might even be involved. We can't trust anyone. I can't trust you. That must be why I was attacked by the lake. I must have interrupted something they were doing. Well, why keep me alive? That one. Alright, I guess I'm done here. I'm going back to the lake. You can't stop me. Nice, nice city in the background. Excuse me, miss. The S area is closed for me. Please return to your home. It will be dark soon. You don't want to walk past this point. I promise. I'll see you. See you. Bye. No one tells me what to do. I'm a fucking. I'm a whammon. Nobody tells whammon what to do. Whammon is always. Oh, shit. I'm going to take that key. Whee! Shit. Mmm. So I got the scroll. Let me make sure everything's good. Okay, we are good. Okay, cool. We gotta check this shit, dude. Oh, I'm dropping frames like a motherfucker, which apparently doesn't mean. Give a fuck, I go to like bar. Developers, do not make the escape key quit your entire game. Don't do it. It's bad. Yes, I should have known better, but so should have you. Yeah, hit me, hit me again as I stand there in the wind. This makes me question the sanctity of this game. This makes me question the sanctity of my life. I got it. I got it. Was he the one who attacked me? Who knows? No one will know. We gotta figure it out. There we go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. I gotta get that copper key. <sighs> I like how I went from like impressed to this game to aggravated. <laughs> that stupid nose, stupid sickness, stupid sickness. Now you got some problems with your graphic, boy. I'm gonna take that key. I'm gonna jump on your body. You know. All right, let's go. Boingo Choingo. I'm gonna lock that cop key. We can't trust anybody. I can't trust you. Boing. Boing. Uh! Scary noises. Oh, cool. I was meant to come in here. What is the password? Uh, you may pass. <laughs> I knew the password. You gonna let me pass? Cool. Thank God I knew that password. Hey, look, Cthulhu. A thing cannot be described. There is no language for such ab abysms of shrinking and, and 
immemorial lunacy, such as eldritch contradictions of all matter, force, and cosmic order. All right. Th that was stupid short. You should almost be ashamed of yourself. If I wasn't surprised by the fact that you made a pixel game out of a 3D, you know, front-end 3D engine, if I wasn't impressed that you even chose to do that out of that engine, I would tell you to be ashamed of yourself for making such a short-ass game. It's probably short because it took you so long to make a 3D game, uh, a pixel game out of that... 3D engine behemoth. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. That'll do it for this episode of Pyrotechnic Plays. That's probably why I was dropping frames the whole time, because it's fucking Unreal Engine, and I don't know. I work with Unreal Engine, and I I love it and hate it at the same time. It's the greatest thing and the worst thing all together. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all when I make another one. Stop streaming. Stop recording.